Hello there. Welcome to Parts and Features for SOLIDWORKS 2026. 26 brings new enhancements that improve flexibility and control over sheet metal, equations, structure systems, cutlass properties, reference points, bounding boxes, and even a couple pesky commands that take a little bit too long to run. Sit back, relax, and enjoy these couple examples. New to sheet metal in 2026, we now have the ability to change the base flange start location. As I edit this part in context here, we can see that I've got a sketch that's at the very bottom of the cab. Maybe because I've imported that as a DXF from a customer, or because I've created all my reference sketches on the bottom plane. No worries, I can let the software work for me here. I'll use the From option in the Property Manager, choosing from Offset, Vertex, Surface Face, or Plane here. Let's take advantage of some top-down modeling techniques and choose the internal weldment there. All right. So again, let the software work for you there. As I go ahead and bend this part down, we're going to explore the new improvement to break corners. We now have the ability to choose internal corners only when we collect all corners. Previously, if we wanted to collect all corners, we may have needed to manually deselect or select items. If for some reason you didn't need to select only internal, you can uncheck it and it'll grab the rest of the corners. Right. Nice quality of life change there. As we explore our new addition to delete with equations, we can see that I've got a sketch here with some sigma symbols denoting that I've got an equation related to that dimension. If I go ahead and delete this equation for some reason, or this sketch for some reason, we can see that I've got a delete equations checkbox now, just like I would with an absorbed or child feature. Previously to 2026, we would have had an error get produced from that because we lost references. Let's go ahead and open up the cab here, the, the structure of the cab, and take a look at our improvement to corner treatment UI. Taking a look through here, we can explore simple, two member, and complex, but notice that each node now has its individual color, providing more clarity to the user. I'm gonna go ahead and explore a little bit farther down choose the node here for this complex corner, and we can see that the UI has been changed and provides us with a little bit more clarity. We have visuals, we have the ability to step through each different trim order. And again, if visually I see the correct one, I can go ahead and select it, hit the green check, and see that update. Okay. Can't tell you how much that will affect me, right? That I mean, just visually, that's very nice. Let's go ahead and explore the cut list items update that we have. Previously, in the cut list, when we go to take a look at properties, we can see description, total length, but we couldn't utilize these in the top-level custom properties, not unless we did a little finagling with it. New to 26, we can go ahead and explore our top level and choose cut list properties as a drop-down now. As I explore each cut list item, I can see the individual properties per cut list. In this case, I'll grab description and total length to provide profile and let's say stock size to our ERP system downstream. Right? So this can be utilized in data cards, this can be utilized in our ERP system, right? just improving the functionality of cut lists. We're going to take a look at one more cab piece here, which is our AC duct. With this AC duct, maybe we're creating some sort of 3D sketch to create this suite. Previously, we weren't able to use reference points with XYZ. New to 2026, we can go ahead and define those X, Y, and Z locations. Why is this important? Well, because this will make 3D sketching that much easier now, right? We don't have to have an existing piece of reference geometry in there in order to establish this point. So when we go to create our 3D sketch, we can route them through these points and provide a little bit more constraints, whereas maybe we would have had to create a lot more construction lines to do that same exact thing. As we explore a little bit farther and we get to the end of that sweep, we're going to take a look at the bounding box control. We've improved the, the ability to control where the bounding box occurs now. Previously, it was best fit in custom plane. If you were to choose custom plane like a reference plane, there's a chance that it would satisfy it. But again, maybe it wouldn't fit your needs. New to 26, we can go ahead and choose coordinate systems and use the XYZ directions in order to establish or map to length, width, and thickness. 
Now, again, maybe why would we do this? Well, maybe we have different grain directions and materials, or we needed this to fit in a different orientation. Now, the next benefit that comes with being able to map to XYZ or to your coordinate system is that we can statically control where the length, the width, and the thickness maps to. So I go ahead and change my configuration here and shrink it. Previously to 2026, there was a chance that length, width, and thickness had changed orientation. So length had become width or thickness had become width, right? New to 26, when you choose coordinate system, you get that much more secure confidence knowing that those won't change. Now let's explore our last option here, which is canceling out of commands, fillet commands, chamfer commands, linear patterns, and circular pattern commands when they take too long to complete. Okay, maybe for some reason you didn't mean to, maybe you didn't mean to grab all of the items that you did and you accidentally hit the green check and you're stuck in that loading. We now have the ability to hit escape. So we got a bunch of holes here can see I, I've only filleted about maybe a quarter of them as I go ahead and add more to this and I hit the green check to run the command All right we can start to see it spin right it's thinking if I hit escape I now get a warning or a pop-up to cancel the operation I can say okay to that and it'll bring me right back into the editing fillet command That's been it for parts and features for SOLIDWORKS 2026. I hope you were able to get something out of this and be excited by some of these new cool features um, and be able to even apply these to your everyday workflows. So my name is Manuel Cash. I'm with Go Engineer. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Have a good rest of your day.